Hello. Hello, Hi, guys. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Good. Mark. Hi, Marco. How are you? How's it going? Good night. Good. Something tired, but good. So tired. A little bit tired. Why? Do you work yes. a lot? Well, no, I, I study, but I am doing, uh, how do you say, pasantia. Oh. I am, I am <laughs> literally all the day in between the pasantia and the university. Wow, yeah, yeah, I understand that. I can understand that. That's okay. <laughs> but, uh, well, keep it going, so you're going to finish soon. And, um, Juan Carlos. Hi, Juan Carlos. Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Rene Giovanni. Fernando. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Carlita. David. Gail Aguilar. Carla Abigail, Saul. Hi, Saul. Do you get my uh, WhatsApp? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Good. So, Very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, guys. We're going to start with our session. Just let me project that. Okay, for today's lesson, we'll continue talking about uh, our last topic, which is uh, related to very classes of time. And just let me project that, okay? Let me see. Okay, good. Okay, cool. So I think we're uh, over here, lesson objective 3.7. Uh, in this session, you listen and practice a conversation about wedding customs. And at very classes of time, we'll be introduced. Okay, so now we play our video about the wedding customs. This, this is a conversation of a wedding day. So that's a good day. Have you uh, got married? No, not yet. Maybe soon. Let me know if you listen to the conversation. There's a big dinner, and after the food. Okay, hold on. So that was too fast. Too fast. Okay. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their wedding. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a sin. Ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was.
Okay, we're gonna play that a second time and then we're gonna answer the question. So please try to take some notes. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, based on what you have heard, uh, could you tell me what are some of them? Uh, so oh, yeah, oh, each... sorry. What did the bridge and groom give each guest? So what do you what do you get? What do you get? Guys? Present. Presents? Mm, but what? What exactly? Do you get any sugar. other sugar? Okay. Anything else? Just sugar. So imagine giving sugar. <laughs> Okay, and here in El Salvador, uh, what did they give? Did they give something? Yes, no? I think in El Salvador is the opposite. <laughs> uh -huh. Why? Because we only receive presents, like. But I don't, but if you have get married, yeah, if you have got married, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Um, well, uh, we cannot read that uh, very well, so we continue with our second part, and we're gonna be checking. Um, well, now uh, we're gonna be checking the stress and read them in the following sentences. Okay, before the adverbial process of time. So here we go, guys. Pay attention to these uh, intonation. Okay. I that was Okay. Pronunciation. Stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello, everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Pronunciation. Stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. 
Okay, so we're gonna try reading these uh, sentences together, okay? Let's see, after the ceremony, um, there is a reception with family and friends. Where the guests leave, the bridge and groom, and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Let's see, um, we're gonna read, uh, we're gonna listen to that again, and then you're gonna be checking that, okay? Leave. The bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. There's a reception with family and friends. These sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. These sentences. Okay, let's see who wants to try. Anybody who wants to try? Let me see. So, do you want to try? After the ceremony, the there's the a reception. Uh -huh. A reception with family and friends. Okay, continue give, with this. Give, uh -huh. give presents. Before, Before the guests leave, give, the bride and groom give them presents. Yeah, 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 it's kind of blur. Yeah. Let me see. I'm I'm gonna try to rewrite it. Okay, maybe over here. Okay. So the first one is after that ceremony. Number two, before, okay, before the gas leave, right, and the groom. Okay, number three. I like the last ones. <laughs> I think that, that would be my favorite. But not all of you. Well, not all people wants to get married. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to play the audio again so you can listen to that again. And later you, um, well, you try to pronounce that. Okay. I'm going to move here. Maybe is then practice them. Um, to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences, then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave. The bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Um, to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, good. Let's see, uh, now you, you can try now. Let me see. Leave the bride. Okay, good. So let's see, uh, any volunteer? Maybe uh, Irma, Sao, Marco, Sao. Oh, okay. Good, Irma. 
Oh, Saúl, Saúl, dime qué hacen de, de que Chiri West Irma. Ok. Thank you. Do you want... Uh, read, to... read them, please. Read them. Oh, read them. Uh -huh. uh, number one is um, after the ceremony, there, huh? there's a reception with family and friends. Okay, good. Second and one. Number two. Oh. Continue, please. And the number two is before the guests leave, the brie and the room give them presents. And the number three, the guests usually give money to the bridge and the groom. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Let's see. Uh, let's see uh, later. <laughs> these, 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 these. So that's these, a problem, these, right? Let me these, see. These, these, these. Okay, so that's a platform. Let me check. Hold on, guys. My goodness. What's going on with this? My goodness. Okay, so we're free now. No, no, that was not good. Okay. Let's see, we'll continue. Uh, well, I think you can check that uh, later. We'll continue with the uh, relative classes. And we're going to have some practice, okay? Uh, today it's going to be a practice. And uh, well, uh, checking some more things about it. Um, so you will be exposed to various classes of time, what they are and they're used. Okay, so we're at uh, point three, point two. And we're going to be checking these adverbial classes. Okay, so before checking some examples, we're going to watch the video and we're going to check some important details about it. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. Okay, so do uh, you remember that we were talking about this stuff yesterday? And what's a adverbial clause of time? Do you remember? What was it? Guys, yeah, so what do you remember? What, what was it? A very class of time. So it give us information about what? About? Or let's see. So will Carlos, Claudia? Un adverbio. Ah, uh -huh. so, but it gives us information about times, right? So it gives us information about time, time. So that's the answer. That's An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time. Okay, so this is one important point about uh, verbal clauses of time. So they describe or define uh, when something happens. For example, look at this. Uh, in these examples, you can notice that if uh, these sentences are giving us information about when an activity happened, for example, and we have some uh, words in order to express that. So they start with uh, the word like when, after, before, right? When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have uh, the ceremony at a shrine. What's a shrine, by the way? 
What's the shrine? Guys. What's the shrine? Any idea? Okay, let me see. Uh huh. Shrine. Yeah, what is it? Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go. Okay, so a shrine, it's uh, let's say, like the place where the wedding takes place, a lunchtime, right? So that's a, at a shrine. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, after the place. food is served. Ah, uh, yes. It's a place where what? Where a wedding takes place. El altar, yeah, el altar, or something like a oh. shrine. Okay. After the food, uh, is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. So we're talking about a time, right? After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. So we have two classes, one dependent and the other independent. So we're gonna be checking that. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna play that and we we'll continue learning about After it. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when I okay, a second point to consider when we talk about a very classes of time is that uh well first they define when something happens. Second, um okay, these uh adverbial classes of time uh start with uh conjunctions. So we're gonna be checking that. Let me see. Okay defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. Okay, so they begin with a subordinating conjunction. And we're going to be checking what are subordinating conjunctions in a moment. So let's continue. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. Okay, so in this case, these are some subordinating conjunctions, these are called conjunctions, and they start, a, um, let's say, an adverbial class of time. Okay, so these are conjunctions, and they start a um, class of time, an adverbial class of time. Let's see, let's continue with the rest. We invite you to ask... Uh, by the way, when, after, before, since, until, while, and whenever, so mean uh, when what's the meaning you know uh, one right after okay so when you mention an activity after another one right before so when you mention that something happened before another activity since when you want to mention a period of time or a date for example i have been working as a teacher uh, since 2018 so you want to mention time until it means hasta okay and while mientras for example i was uh, working while she was uh, playing for example so in order to show simultaneous activities and whenever well whenever it's one does that right so let's continue okay ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference you may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinate. A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences. Okay, so with our subordinating conjunction with the one that has when, until, since, or whenever, 
So this joins two sentences, okay? So we're gonna be, so we need two classes, okay? So we need two classes. Sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. Okay, so this is important. So in these uh, type of sentences, we need two sentences. We need uh, two sentences, okay? So one subordinated sentence and another one independent. So the subordinated, it's uh, dependent because it uh, lacks of sense if uh, you don't have an independent class. So, so you need the two sentences in order to create, right? the um, in the meaning okay or to well to create a sentence that makes sense see as said in the intro video an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense it is not complete we will take a look at some examples once you see them you will know what we're talking about here when she comes home she will read a bedtime story analyze this sentence when is a subordinating conjunction or adverb she is the subject comes the verb now when she comes it's a subordinating okay so i as was mentioning uh, remember that the subordinating conjunctions uh, are when seems until uh, as while and they have a subject and then a verb okay so that is the first sentence now we continue with that, with more explanation about it. Conjunction or adverb. She is the subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense. Okay, so this is, uh... This is really clear, you know. Um, when she comes home is our subordinated conjunction and it lacks of sense, so the meaning is not complete. So we need, okay, so we need uh, more information. And that's why we have our main clause. Okay, so we need to join two clauses. One independent that needs another clause, another sentence to make sense. And um, this is uh, this one, for example, she will read a bedtime story. So it makes sense a lot. Entonces, esta oración puede ocurrir sola, tiene sentido por sí sola. But this one, the dependent class, no. So you need more information, you know? So when she comes home, what's going to happen when she comes home? Okay, so when she comes home, so I need more information. When she comes home, uh, she will wash dishes. She will clean the house. When she comes home, let's say, let's write some, some examples. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Not a minute, but Okay, we continue, guys. Okay, so when she comes home, when she comes home, we have our subordinated conjunction and we have our dependent class. So we need more information to create, a, to have a meaning, right? 
So when she comes home, it doesn't have a total, a total meaning. So when she comes home, what's going to happen? When she comes home, she will wash the dishes. She will, let's say, clean the house. She will sit, that was my point. She will, um, let's say, book. And now look at this. So we have our in the or dependent class, and then we have our dependent class, our main class. Uh, so when you add this extra information, when you add the main class, uh, which is our independent class, so the meaning makes perfect sense alone. Okay, we have a complete meaning, right? So let's say that they help each other, okay? Let's see. So any questions so far about it, guys? So all questions. No questions, okay. Let's see, we'll continue with the explanation. Oh, yes, question. Yeah. Question? No. How, how do you call those when, when she comes home? Ah, how dependent we, class. Dependent class. Dependent mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. so, Acá, a lo que le llamamos verdinated or conjunction es a la palabrita que nos da ahí el, 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 ese, esa conexión, ese, esa idea de tiempo. For example, when es uno de ellos. Since is otro. Um, until, before, after. Pero cada uno de ellos me están dando un punto de diferente. Por ejemplo, since. Um, since, um, let's say, since 2018, let's say, I have been teaching English. Es lo que es una anterior. Cada uno de ellos tiene un, una meaning diferente. Since es para fechas. Until es hasta. Before. That's when you want to mention an activity that happened before another event. After. So you follow a sequence, right? So son como funciones de tiempo. O um, no secuencia. Let's see. So that's a dependent class. So dependent class. So it's called dependent class. Cuando lleva el, 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 la conjunción. Pero uh, I was mentioning that it lacks of sense, uh, so the meaning is not complete. Mm -hmm. Depende de otra idea para tener sentido completo. So you cannot only say, hey, when she comes home. Okay, what's going to happen when she comes home? So you still need more information. So necesita más información. No puedo decir, okay, cuando ella venga. Pero okay, okay. So what's going to happen? So I need um, another idea, another sentence in order to understand the full idea, the complete thought. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. And you know, this one has a, well, so this is called independent. Mm -hmm. Independent porque tiene when sentido. Uh -huh. When she's going, when she's going to come back, it's mm -hmm. not. Exactly. When she comes home, yeah, it could be. It could be. Okay. When she comes home back, uh, but uh huh, so something is going to happen. Okay. Pero aún ahí necesitaremos otra otra versión para darle sentido completo a lo que queremos decir. No puede decir solo cuando ella venga. Okay. So what? What is going to happen then? Mm -hmm. So that's why you need an independent class. La independent tiene sentido por sí sola. Okay, y es la que va a complementarnos la idea. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's continue. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Mm -hmm. Yes, she mentioned we're creating a more complex sentence. Estamos creando una oración más compleja. So before she went to school, she finished all her homework. So let's let's try to listen to it. 
Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Okay, yes, um, guys. So now that we have checked that information, let's try to break up the sentence. So which is our dependent and which is our independent class? What do you think? So which could be our dependent class, dependent class? The ones to have mentioned time or? Mm -hmm. Which one? Remember, I mentioned some things, some things that you uh, have to consider when we talk about dependent class. So which could be our dependent class? Vean ahí la que le haría falta para tener sentido completo. Mm -hmm. So which could be that one? Think about it, think about it. So write it down. Stay on lane su cuadernito. Okay, guys, tell me what do you what do you think? Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Antes de ir a la escuela, ella terminó toda su tarea. What do you think, guys? Okay, so let's break up these together. Dependent class, this is our dependent class. Before she went to school, what happened before she went to school? So the lack of sense, uh, right? The lack of meaning. She finished all her homework. So this is our independent class. Dependent class. So what do you think? Is it okay? Yes, así lo tenían. Saúl, uh, anybody else? About the rest, Claudia, Esmeralda, Carlos, Marco, Ruth. Okay, so let's try creating some sentences. Let's see, before. before I finish my homework. So what is going to happen? So complete these sentences, okay? Mm, when I go to the school. Okay, when I go to school. Uh-huh. Before I finish my homework, when I go to school. Okay, so complete that with an another sentence with a main class. Before I finish my homework, when I go to school, after I talk with my boss, what happens?
Let's see. Try to send your answers through the chat. Carlos, what do you think, Carlos? Ready? Back to your microphone. Write one example through the chat, guys. Okay, so let's see. We we'll start with the first one, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Alberto, I do your mic. Before I finish my homework, Carlos Alberto Martinez, I do your mic. Hello, hello, Carlos. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is what is the question? Ah, uh, yes, complete this sentence before I finished my homework. Es que no logro ver toda la parte en mi teléfono. Ese es el problema. La, la última parte, ¿eh, verdad? And it could be this one. I I do my breakfast. Okay, before I finished my homework. De antes. Terminar mi tarea. Ajá. I did my breakfast. Yo hice mi desayuno. Ok. So I say I cook. Ok. I, I did. Work. Ah. Mm -hmm. I cook. Cooked. Ok. That's good. Ok. That's good. When I go to school. So what do you think? When I go to school. Um, I, I pay attention. Mm, okay, I pay attention. Okay, so you're getting this. Okay, after I talked with my boss. I will go to my house. Mm, it's in past tense. The question I was late. fired. <laughs> Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. so you have to check that tense. Tienen que ver ahí el tiempo. Okay, so you have to uh, pay attention to the details. After I talked with my boss, I, uh -huh, I got fire. Okay, let's see. Another, let's see, let's try to create some more. Um, okay. Before, okay, before I got to school, oh no, not something else, before I go to work. So what do you do before you go to work? What do you do before you go to work? I get a shower. Mm -hmm. I take a shower. Another example. So you, uh, even you can modify these uh, sentences, you know, like for example, um, I phone him before, okay, before lunch. Okay, after dinner, tell me what happens after dinner, guys. Any after, idea? Yeah. I went to sleep. I ah, uh -huh. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Uh, okay, something else. After my English class, yes, after my English class, 
what are you going to do after English class? I make my homework. Mm, okay. Okay, after my English class, I do my homework. I do my homework, I will do my homework. Okay, so you see, that's not really difficult. Um, okay, so we continue with some more. I think I have some more examples, but we're gonna finish with the video. She, the sad. Okay, so here we have the answer of what we're talking about uh, for the previous sentence. The floor is uh, the conjunction, she, the subject, uh, the verb when, so before she went to school. So that is the, in the, the dependent class, okay? She finished all her homework. So that's the main class or the independent class. So it, ha it has a complete sense against, well, that sentence can be understood or, or clear, right? So it has a complete thought, okay? Let's see. Um, now let me see. Um, questions about it. Questions about it. Any question? So try to take some notes. Try to take some notes. went the verb before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause and she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause excellent well done before we go it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it it is okay to say since they got married they have traveled around the world or they have traveled around the world since they got married. Okay, so basically in here, what we're talking about is that you can, um, the position of these uh, dependent class can be uh, um, at the beginning or in the middle. It's like in order, no importa, lo único que va a pasar si usted pone la dependent conjunction at the beginning, um, tiene que buscar una coma. Y si va en medio, no hay comas. Okay, since. Remember, since. Desde que ellos se casaron. Since, uh, let's see. We. Okay, since we started our class, we have talked about, say, English, for example. Since I have, okay, since I have, since I went to Paris, okay. They've been in, okay, living in here. Okay, let's see, if we have parties, ya no me vuelve a sentir igual. So I have to feel okay living in here. Okay, so I want to live in Paris. Okay, so that is the, the order that we have been studying. The second order would be the opposite. Entonces, el opuesto sería ubicar ese things en medio. So just um, modifying the positions. I haven't feel okay living here. Look at this. So you just copy this and you place that um in our second. Like here in the middle. I haven't feel okay living in here since I went to Paris. So puede hacer eso también. So the only thing that you need to remember is that you have to place a comma when you start your sentence 
with uh, your independent class. Okay. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esta, chicos? Esta de acá. Mm. What do you think? Since we started our class, we have talked about English. Look at this. We have talked about English since we started our class. Okay, and that's enough. Okay, uh, any question about it, about this order? Question? Yes, no? The only difference. Okay. So you, so. Mm -hmm. you, so we yes, only so. have to change the, the. The position of the sentences. The, yeah, the position, yeah. The, the position of the sentence. This mm -hmm. would be the first here. They would. With the, with the subject. Yeah, that's a the... normal sentence. Um, son oraciones. Son oraciones. Uh, la dependiente, recuerden nada más que le carece de sentido por eso solo. La dependiente, yeah. la independiente yeah. tiene sentido completo. Entonces, la, yeah. la que lleva oh. la, con, la conjunción de tiempo, por eso, adverbial classes of time, la que lleva esa conjunción de tiempo, Eh, necesita de otra, por ejemplo, una main class, una idea principal para complementar y eh, tener sentido, un sentido muy completo. Porque si no, solo nos quedamos como una idea en el aire. Ok, yo puedo decir desde que iniciamos nuestra clase. No, ok, pero, what? So I need more information. We have talked about English. Mm -hmm. uh, since I went to Paris. Okay, ¿Qué pasó desde que fuiste a París? Since you went to Paris, I have felt okay. Right? So, or you got a, a stomach ache, something like that. Mm -hmm. Saúl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, no, matter, no matter if it's we, she, she. No, uh, no. Mm -mm. no. There is not okay. any problem about it. No. Eso no, no es un problema. Okay. Recuerden, como lo mencionamos al principio, lleva una estructura, siempre seguimos uh, subject, okay, la conjunction, subject, verb, subject, verb, uh -huh. subject, uh, okay, conjunction, subject, verb, okay. and the same here. Y por supuesto que el independiente tiene todas las partes, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Estas ya son las siempre que más complejas, but... Uh, I think that with practice, we're going to learn that. Any question? Okay, no questions. So now, let me see. I think I have some examples of it here. Okay, please. Okay, time, 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 time. So look at these examples. As uh, oh well, I was still in the office when the accident happened. Okay, I was still in the office when the accident happened. So, so could you read the second example? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. As she stood. Yeah, as uh, she stood in front of the cheering crowd of fans, she realized that her dream had come true. Okay. Let's see. Continue with the next one, please. Um, let me see. You. Yeah. Uh, okay. You should make a bad lunch before you go. After we saw Lord of the Rings. We went for a pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, students are not allowed 
to talk while the teacher is lecturing. I've been working part-time or full-time since I was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. As soon as you finish the test, write down the time and turn your paper over. Take mm -hmm. a walk until dinner is ready. Whenever you make a promise, you must keep it. You can keep the book as long as you like. The first time I went to New York, I went to an opera. opera. Okay, so as you notice, we have different conjunctions. Here we have when, as, before, the after, while, the scenes, we were using scenes, as soon as, and I know that this is easier for you to understand that the, the word, the, let's say the class with the conjunction is the dependent class. Because acá, ¿cuáles serían nuestras, nuestras dependent classes? So could you read that? So I was still in the office when the accident happened. Okay, cuando el accidente pasó. Okay, I need a dependent class, independent class. I was still in the office. As she stood in front of the cheering crowd of fans, she realized that her dream had come true. Okay, mientras, that's right. Okay, you should make a back lunch uh, before you go. Okay, before you go, what do you have to do? Before I go, I have to wash dishes. I have to wash the dishes before I go. After we saw a lot of the rings, we went for a pizza. We went for a pizza after we saw the lot of the rings. Students are not allowed to talk while the teacher is lecturing. Ustedes no están las de, dependent classes. Son estas las que les hace falta eh, más información. Porque no tiene carecen de sentido por sí solas. After we saw the lot of the rings. Okay, what happened after you saw the Lord of the Rings? As soon as you finish the test, tan pronto como termines el examen, okay, write down the time and turn your paper over. Escribe el tiempo y voltea la papeleta. Take a walk until dinner is ready. Hasta que la cena esté lista. Ya camina. Whenever you make a promise, cuando hagas una promesa, ¿qué tienes que hacer? Cumplirla. So you must keep it. You can keep the book as long as you like. Okay. And the first time I went to New York, I went to an opera. Okay, questions about it, guys. Uh, take a picture, please. Take a picture of them. Take a picture. Okay, just to finish, I'm going to be I'm going to be asking you to write down a sentence through the chat. Okay, so now you have a uh, two minutes to finish that. So write one example. Okay, so write write down one example through the chat. You can use either when, before, why, since. But it doesn't matter. So write your examples through the chat. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have one example. Um, Marco, Marco, break your example. Okay, when I realized it was too late, 
Okay, so you just missed the comma. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So, your example. Hello. Yes. As soon as, or yeah. As soon okay. as you finish your exercise. Um. <laughs> uh, as soon as you finish your exercise, you can you can yeah. go you can go no. home, for example. Yeah, you can go home, or you make sure you drink. This. Some water. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can drink some water. Yes, yeah. you got it. Perfect. Good job. Okay, so because of the time, I'm gonna to pass attendance list and please uh remember try to practice and complete activities through the platform. And um well I've been asked to um ask you to turn on your cameras, okay? Para siempre mantener activas las cámaras, eh, es un requisito que nos han solicitado, parte de ISAFOR, y eh, necesitamos pues, de su apoyo también. Recuerden, solamente tenemos una hora, entonces eh, hay que aprovecharlo al máximo. Ok, let's see. Carlos Alberto Martínez. Present. Thanks. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thanks, Claudia. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present. Ok, thank you. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present, teacher. Thanks, Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Not here. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline, Rebecca, Sermeño, Lo. Okay. Thanks, Rebecca. Jennifer, Raquel, Ayala. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, you were absent yesterday, Raquel. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Carla Abigail Aguilar. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Thanks, Marco. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present. Thanks, René Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Ruth Maria Lozomaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thanks, Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero. Teacher, no, uh, no sé si me escucha. Sí, Ruth. Es que a lo lejos he escuchado toda la clase, pero ahorita estoy viendo en el chat que Juan Carlos Maravilla puso que tiene problemas de conexión. Ah, ok, ahorita checamos entonces. Okay, pero gracias. quizás es el teacher, pero quizás es su, su, el suyo, porque yo también todo cortado escuché. Eh, ¿Ah, sí? Clase. Mm. Sí. Mm. Bueno, mm, vamos a checar eso. Ok, gracias chicos. Um, siempre, uh, bueno, a mí se me dejan masajitos, ok, para verificar, tratar de, de verificar. Stephanie Jamilet Pérez. No, ok. Vamos, y Juan Carlos, me dice. Juan Carlos está por él. Juan Carlos. Ok, no, no me aparece Juan Carlos acá. No sé si le dejo un mensaje por ahí. Pero no me ah, Juan conectado. Carlos Maravillas lo vi conectado, pero no sé en qué momento se desconectó y puso en el chat que tenía problemas mm -hmm. de conexión. 
Ok, perfecto, ya, ya le pusimos ahí. Ahí va a aparecer cuántos minutos estuvo conectado, no hay problema. Ah, pero recuerde que pues, no tenemos permiso para eso. Solamente una hora. Sorry, ok. Hay Angel con Carlos Cubillas. Ah, oh, con Carlos Cubillas. Ok. Thanks. Ok, guys. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be tomorrow, guys. So please rest, sleep well, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you at nine, okay? Tomorrow. Bye, -bye, Bye guys. See you. Good night. Hello, so Hello. Yes. Teacher. Juan Carlos, any question, Juan Carlos? ¿O Saúl? No, teacher, thank you. Ok, see you uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye.